everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Inspired Cooking with Maddie. This week I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my mini chicken pot pie cups. And if you guys saw my egg bite uh, recipe, you guys know that I'm a big fan of these Mission um, Carb Balance flour tortillas. Um, I go in a little bit more in depth about them with like the nutritional information in my egg bite video, but this is going to be along the same lines, um, but I, I will explain it. So for this recipe, you're going to need, um, I typically use anywhere, I usually use about 10 of these wraps. I usually make 24 cups in these like mini muffin tins. They're not mini, they're actually regular size, I like. They are the 12 count um, tin and that is what we're going to be lining each one with the low carb um, flour tortillas. So you're gonna need about eight to 10 of these wraps. You are going to need a one pound bag of mixed vegetables. If you have canned vegetables, that's fine. You can use that too, but I prefer just to get them frozen and honestly, you just throw them in there frozen. So you're gonna need a pound bag of that. Pam spray, as always. Um, you're going to need three cans of white breast chicken. So I prefer to use the canned chicken. It sits better in my stomach, but my stomach is not like a lot of other people out there. So this is a 12.5 ounce can. I get these at Aldi's. You can use rotisserie chicken. You can prepare your own chicken and shred it, or you can put it in the crock pot and shred it. Um, but we're going to use three cans of these. Then we're going to use cream of chicken soup. I prefer to get the 96% fat free. Um, it is a lot less fat than the other. Not that fat is bad by any means. You guys know that I eat moderate fat quite often. So two of these cans, they are the 10 and a half ounce cans. And then you are going to need a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic salt. I just happen to have garlic salt with parsley. So that's what we're going to use. So first, what you're gonna do, I like to just get my filling that's gonna go in the little mini cups ready. So in a large bowl, you're gonna drain your chicken and you're just gonna put your chicken all in here. And I always just take a fork and like, it just falls apart. I'm really weird about chicken. I get the all white meat. I get it at Aldi's, it's the cheapest um, place that I can find that has it. So I'm seriously just gonna like shred this up. If you've never used canned chicken before and you are a little bit hesitant about it, don't be surprised if there are little pieces that are like a pinkish shade. I know that sounds kind of gross, but it is fully cooked. Canned chicken also, naturally just has a sulfur taste to it. I know some people that eat really clean are super against um, canned chicken because they do put preservatives in it. Um, but for me, it is ease and I am not trying to eat 100% clean. I am not weird about that. So once you get this shredded up, nice little arm workout for you too. you are going to add in the cream of chicken soup. Typically when you are preparing soup, you add water, not with these. You just add two cans of it. It's gonna seem like it might be a tad thick, but that is just the way that it is. All you're gonna do is mix that up. Continuing with the arm workout. <laughs> mix 
mixing it up like this. And you're going to add in your one pound bag of mixed vegetables. This one has corn, carrots, peas, and green beans. And I feel like that's what typically I would put in chicken pot pie if I was making regular chicken pot pie. So you're just gonna put all of that in there. And just continue stirring. Until it is all mixed up. It's going to make a lot. It's a pretty big bowl filled with it. But if you know me, you know that I like to prepare things ahead of time and even freeze things. So these are great for a quick middle snack. Once it is all mixed up, you're gonna add in your onion powder. You're gonna use one teaspoon of onion powder. And one teaspoon of garlic salt with or without parsley. If you're pretty sensitive to salty things, I would just do salt to taste on each individual one. And just continue mixing this. You're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350. And then once your filling is all mixed, we are going to make the little muffin tin liners, if you will, which are actually low carb wraps. So what you're gonna do is these are, they have 19 carbs, 13 of it is fiber. So it helps keep you full. Um, so I use these and what I do is, I'm gonna set this off to the side. And if you guys watched my little egg bite video, you already know how to make these. What you do is you're gonna take a wrap like this and you're gonna put it on a cutting board or just a hard surface to protect your counter. It just so happens that the same size can of chicken that I used is the perfect size to make a little liner for these muffin tins. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna press down on it and you're going to make, it's going to be like this. Usually each wrap makes about two liners. So that is how you make those. Just another view of how I do this is I take a wrap like this and put it on a cutting board and I'm just going to take it on the outer edge of this and like push down and twist it. This one you might be able to get three out of. They don't have to be perfect like I've talked about before in my egg bite video, but they're gonna be like this and then you just seriously pop them out. And if they get like torn a little bit, it's no big deal. This one will work just fine. This recipe makes about 24, depending on how full you fill them. But this makes about 24 little mini, just like that. And even like this little edge is fine. It'll still work. Once you have all your little muffin tin liners um, cut out, you are going to take your muffin tin, spray with a little Pam spray. I'm all about doing anything to get it to not stick. So. You're gonna take these and you're seriously just gonna like push them down. The Pam spray also helps the little liners kind of stick in there. So you're just going to line this 
They don't have to be perfect. Just toss them in there. This is just supposed to be like an easy, quick little recipe. But it looks like it's a lot more work than it is. And I promise it's worth it. Also, another thing that I've added to these before, of course, onions. But what would a recipe be with Maddie without onions? And cheese. I just realized it's two of my things that I add to everything. So these ones, I did not add that stuff. And you seriously just spoon it in there. These ones, unlike the egg cups, you can fill them pretty full because there's nothing in it that's gonna stick as bad as like an egg would. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for spring and baseball. I am ready for baseball. Also, I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook or Instagram. I went to Tribe Fest with my dad and randomly got chosen. I've had a lot of people ask me, so I'll just tell you guys. Randomly um, got chosen to go up on stage and play a game. I didn't know what game. I didn't know with what players. Um, about 10 minutes before, <laughs> before the game started, they asked um, if I wanted to go up there. Tribe Fest is like they have it every January and you get to meet the players and stuff. And... It, all the money goes to charity, and so every year me and my dad go, and they came up to me and said, hey, would you like to go on stage and play a game with some of the players? And I was like, yeah, who wouldn't? So I get up there. Of course, I'm backstage talking to some other players that they got to introduce me to, Carlos Carrasco and Carlos Santana. I'm so happy he's back. Um... And then Trevor Bauer, I'm not the biggest Trevor Bauer fan, but whatever, it was cool. So they came up to me and said, well, we think out of the three fans that we picked that you're the most talkative. The two other were like two other guys and they were, they were really kind of quiet. So they said, we're going to pair you with Francisco Lindor. I'm assuming most of you guys know who he is. He's like the LeBron James of baseball, especially in Cleveland. So I got to go up on stage and he was my partner. And we were losing really bad. We played that game where you put those mouthpieces like in your mouth and had to guess what we're saying. And he doesn't speak. His English was pretty good. But um, a lot of the stuff was slang that he was trying to like explain. And he didn't know what it was. And so anyways, it was great. We made a big comeback. We were losing going into the final round. And we made a comeback and won. So... That was maybe the highlight of my life, but it was really cool. So I cannot wait for baseball. It is, it is the most wonderful time of the year for me. So anyways, back to this recipe. You're just gonna fill these up. No perfect amount. Seriously, just fill them up. And once you get all your little cups filled, Sometimes you'll have a little extra filling and I just kind of go back and put it in instead of doing like a whole nother batch of them. And and it just so happened to come out perfect. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna put these in the oven on 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on them. The part that you will see that gets done the quickest is the edges of the wrap. Once those start to get even the least bit golden, I pop them out because honestly, everything is cooked in here. The chicken is obviously cooked, it's in a can. Uh, if you pre-cooked the chicken, then it's already cooked. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and show you what they look like when they get done. Once they come out of the oven, you are just going to let them cool. Before you take them out, these have cooled a little bit. So I, this is what they look like. And you are just going to take a knife and get the edge of one of the wraps and seriously just pop them out and put them on a plate. 
I put like two of these in a baggie and then some of them I freeze, some of them I, you know, won't freeze and I'll eat right away. Um, these are one of my parents' absolute favorites. So when I make these, I always give them at least one tray of them. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Inspired Cooking with Maddie and I can't wait to see you guys again soon.